My subscribers got really upset with me and almost canceled me and let me tell you why. So recently here, I got this bright idea to change this beautiful gold mirror into a black one. I had my reasons, but my subscribers, yeah, they didn't care about that. <laughs> so I went to Lowe's, grabbed a Rust-Oleum black matte spray paint and painted over my gold mirror. Oh my goodness, why did I do that? And then I posted the video asking people which one they liked better. When I say every single person, maybe 90 to 95% of you guys said gold. So <laughs> every single comment said gold, 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 go back to gold, go back to gold. So I sat back, read all of the comments, and I saw how much you guys were upset about this decision. So I got my humble self up, went right back to Lowe's, to pick out the right paint color. All right, family, so here we are at Lowe's again. The thing I like about Lowe's is, number one, it's not that far away from my house. Number two, I come here a lot. You guys know I flip and fix properties, so I know my way around this store and I know almost everything they have here, so I actually like coming here. All right, family, so here we are in the spray paint aisle and that's your little niece. <laughs> running around like she owns the store or something <laughs> anyway the great thing about this area is that there are a whole bunch of options to choose from there are different brands different shades different shades of gray black blue any color you can think about so this is the first color that cut my eye and the great thing also is that they have a little pad on the floors where you can try the spray paint out so that's exactly what i did um i kind of visualized the color of the gold that i wanted and the gold that matches my chandelier which actually is the reason i decided to paint it black in the first place so i have to be really really careful to choose the right gold but the thing is there's not a way to bring a sample and i can't bring the mirror i took a video of it but <laughs> video in real life it's just not the same so i'm gonna try this out and i hope i don't mess up and get canceled again so pray for me y'all we're gonna try this out so again here is the pad on the floor here I have a few options that I'm gonna go through. So all I'm doing here is spraying it down on the pad to see what shade of gold I like better. So this is our first one. What do you guys think? This is giving a little bit of shimmer. Um, it's giving a light, you know, very light gold. I really, really like this one. Um, I think it's actually a really, really good match. But again, I looked at the video over and over and looked at the phone and looked at the, the options they had. Um, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to choose um, which one is better. All right, so this is our second option. This one has a little more, um, it has a lot more shimmer and it has a little more yellow tone to it. As you can see, the first one is lighter. It's a much lighter gold, but this one is a more thicker gold um, and it shows better, all right? But you can clearly see here that these two golds are so different. This is the third one and this has more of a white undertone to it, so I don't think this is what I'm looking for at all. You guys tell me in the comments which one you think is a better gold. Is it this one? This is the one with the white undertone. And then we have the deeper gold with a lot more shimmer to it. And then we have this light one that is barely there. All right, family, so we are back home and I already have the mirror down here. This is your little niece. <laughs> She's always running. Nadia is always busy, okay? If there is anything you can take away from this is prepping is the hardest part. With any kind of DIY project, prepping is the hardest part of it, but it is the most crucial part of it because if you don't prep well, you are going to mess up big time. And especially when it comes to a piece of mirror, not only do you have to prep it well so you don't spray the mirror itself, I mean, the spray comes off, but it just takes time. It's time consuming and nobody wants to deal with that. But the most critical part is trying not to break it, especially moving it around, putting it back up, taking it down, taking it outside, having to leave it out for it to dry. That is honestly the scariest part and the hardest part, all right? But other than that, spraying it is easy. It takes like five minutes to spray the whole thing down. So what I do is I like to give it like three coats. So I do the first coat, let it completely dry, do the second one, I let it completely dry, and then do the third one, 
you guessed it, let it completely dry. That is very, very important because if it's not completely dry, it's gonna be messy. When you go to grab it to put it back up, you're gonna leave fingerprints everywhere, you're gonna mess it up, and it's just not, it's not gonna look as clean and um, professional as possible. So prep is most important. Letting it dry is second most important. After that, you're good to go. All right, so I'm just using little plastic bags and other little pieces of things here to cover my mirror because I didn't have a piece of cloth that fits perfectly in front of the mirror. All right, so we are back outside and I am using this moving blanket to um, protect the grass um, from the spray paint. And this is the paint we're using this time. And did you guys guess it? Do you remember which option this was? Was this option number one? with the heavier um, gold? Was it two with the lighter gold or the one with the white undertone? I want you all to comment down below which gold you think it is. All right, so this is just me spraying it on. The gold is so beautiful. The minute I start to spray it, the mirror completely starts to pop out. Honestly, I have to agree with you guys. I can see why you guys were kind of upset. <laughs> with me because look at this the gold makes the mirror look so much better it shows a lot more of the details on the mirror and overall it's just it's a better option it was meant to be gold let's just say that the mirror was meant to be gold and by the way the gold that i went with was the lighter one not the one with the heavy shimmer and not the one with the white undertone i actually went with the one that had a lighter gold and i just did three coats let it dry completely and this is what i got and let me tell you i picked the perfect perfect gold all right y'all the mirror is back in here and we are back to gold we are back to gold look at this look how pretty it is okay ignore the mess this is all the stuff that i had on the mirror itself to protect it as you saw before this is the blanket I um, sprayed it on. Look how pretty that gold is on the blanket. And as I told you guys, all I really needed to do was to find a gold that matches the actual chandelier. And look at that. See the chandelier? See that? See the gold? And now see the gold on the mirror? Now, all of these little things need to be cleaned. And yes, that's Nadia's balloons. Her balloons are still up. <laughs> she doesn't want me to put them away yet. So yeah, that's what those are. But yeah, look at this, y'all. We are back to gold. When I tell you, you guys were yelling at me like, put it back, basically. <laughs> you guys were like, no, we, we understand the black. We get it. But no, the gold. And to be honest, y'all, I actually like the gold better. Again, I got the mirror because it was gold. They had black ones. But I got it because it was gold. What I didn't like was the fact that the gold was clashing with this gold. And it kind of looked tacky. You'll see around the house that I have other gold pieces. I have that, um, those two right there with the light on top. That's gold. I have that beautiful gold mirror there, which also matches this. I have gold accents everywhere, okay? So that is the reason I really got the mirror. But the gold was not golden, okay? It's just the gold was not golden. And I didn't like that. And so I really honestly wanted to try black because I do also have a lot of black accents throughout the house. So I was like, how would it look if I did black? And yeah, it didn't, it, it looked good. I'm gonna be honest, it looked good, but it just didn't pop like I wanted it to pop. So this gold is way better. The gold matches this gold on the chandelier and it's gonna look way, way better. So <laughs> that is what that is. So those little marks, the little white marks, you'll see it here too. These are me um, trying to, or at least attempting to patch some holes in the walls from maybe frames that were put up and you know, holes that were there. So I've patched it. Now I have to paint over it with this paint. So that's what you're seeing there as well. Anyway, the mirror looks absolutely gorgeous. I just have to clean it up now. See those little marks? It just needs some Windex, a little bit of scraping, all of those. But yeah, that's it. We're back to gold and I'm in love. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this and put it up, okay? So the next time you see this mirror, it's gonna be over there. Or should I leave it here? Should I make this like an outfit mirror? Come down here, look at my outfit. No? Okay. <laughs> All right, family, we're actually going to the rental property. You'll see a video about that too. I'm going to the rental property. My contractor is gonna be meeting me there today to install the 
what's it called the shower door and also um the shower door and do some painting paint the deck do some patch up clean up painting so that is where we're going and grandma's coming today grandma's coming nadia's coming so it's gonna be a whole family affair all right family so i am just cleaning the mirror here to put it up all i'm using is a piece of paper towel and some windex and that does it every time y'all and we have it back up and this is what it looks like family i think it's amazing i love that the details of the mirror shows better i love love that it um makes the place not so dark and gothic like if that's the right word um it's just more it's just more expensive the gold is giving more expensive and the best part is that it matches my chandelier now all right family so this is an overview like a top view of what that dining room looks like well this is the whole living area um, again, <laughs> we still have these down here. Nadia does not want to get rid of these. As you can see, some of them have already started popping, but she wants to keep them up, y'all. <laughs> so they're up. But anyway, that is what the dining room looks like. Let me go close so you all can see this. I am in love, love, love. The gold is golden. It matches all of the other golds. As I told you, I have gold accents all over the house, and that gold just made sense. But again, it just wasn't matching the gold of the chandelier. So that is the main reason I wanted to change it. I don't know how this lighting is right now, but here's another view. Oh, okay, it looks better from over here. This is a much better view. There we go. <laughs> I have those three candlesticks there. I actually got those from the Dollar Tree and I have two more or yeah, two more sets. There's one in the entryway and I have this one set here. I forget where the other one, um, the other ones are, but yeah, this is what the mirror looks like y'all. I told you all, all I needed to do was to paint it back or spray it back. The great thing is the metal piece on the mirror is only really small. It's really small, so it's easy to DIY it. And it's also metal and you can spray paint metal anytime anyhow as long as you know how to do it prepping is actually the hardest part trying to prep the the piece and also being very careful because it's such a big piece of um delicate mirror you have to be really really careful otherwise you can break it but otherwise it's really easy to flip it back and forth i can spray paint it white black as you saw or any kind of color okay so anyway this is what it looks like now you can see the gold on the chandelier and the gold on the mirror finally matches and it matches all of the other golds that gold used to be very very yellow i didn't like it it actually looked cheap i didn't like that at all but now it looks much better a closer look of it oh my goodness i love this lighting it's so pretty this piece i actually got from the thrift store if you all want to know more about this this um vase please let me know down below i'll do a whole video but yeah i got that from the thrift store and i just added the greenery with the black mirror the other black piece matched but again it just looked a little gothic it looked a little darker than i would have liked it and a lot of you also liked the wooden piece better um than the glass piece so we're keeping that i like it too <laughs> that's my hair um hair clip let's grab that <laughs> But yeah, a lot of you like the wood piece better. But look at that, y'all. How pretty is this? I still have to paint over those um, old nail uh, holes. I already repaired it. I just have to paint over it. Like I said, I have some here as well. I have to clean that. But look, see how the gold piece matches the other gold pieces in the house? Um, yeah, lots of gold pieces. And I like that. That was on purpose. Because I do have a lot of dark colors going on especially with that ass and wall but i'm making it work i'm making it work and we're having fun with it spring is coming we're gonna do a lot of stuff in the backyard so i cannot wait to show you guys that process i also am gonna be upgrading the curtains i love 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 these share curtains but i'm gonna be upgrading them so stick around for that yeah all right family that is it for today's video thank you all so so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you all in my next one Bye.